Hi there, this is Heather with another DIY Wednesday. We are live in my kitchen and today's topic is, I'll just say it, it's cleaning the toilet. Okay, so you're going to learn to be able to clean your toilet without having to use um, like chemical cleaners. I don't know about you, but when I used to clean my toilet with like, you know, your traditional cleaning stuff, all the fumes would just give me a headache. Plus, you know, I did some research and discovered some of those things that they put in there aren't all that good for you. So I switched over to cleaning my toilet naturally without any chemicals, and that has worked a lot better for me, and I love it. It's so much easier. Okay, so we're gonna go over two things. We're gonna go over like your basic, you know, toilet bowl bathroom cleaner, how to like, amp that up a notch from like a regular cleaner, okay? How to make it, you know, just a little more powerful. And then we're also gonna t tell you what to do if you get like the ring. Has everyone ever had like, like the hard water ring form around your toilet? I know I have, and I have a, like a couple that I need to get rid of right now. So I'm gonna do double duty and actually kind of take care of that after this video is done. So, um, so yeah, we'll get started. And actually, we have a bonus because while I'm at it, I'm going to show you what I use to regularly clean my house because it kind of goes with the toilet stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I use to clean my house regularly, okay? And this is like the bottle. This is like my all-purpose cleaner that I use for everything. And as you can see, I'm almost empty. So I'm going to make it right in front of you so you can see how fast it is, okay? Then I'm going to show you how to amp it up for the bathroom, and then I'm going to show you what to do for rings, okay? So that was actually three things today. All right, so here we go. Here's what I use to make this. First, I use this. This is called Thieves Household Cleaner, okay? Now, this is a concentrate, meaning you don't need to use very much of this at all. They recommend about like one capful for eight ounces of water, okay? This whole thing is like 24 ounces. So I'm going to add like two more capfuls in here. Actually, I'm going to add three just for good measure because I like mine stronger. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to add two more capfuls. Actually, like I said, three more capfuls of this concentrate. Now this concentrate is all plant-based. It's very safe, very gentle, um, and it has thieves essential oil. It's a blend of like cinnamon and clove and a bunch of stuff. It's actually really good for your immune system. It's what I use in like the winter time. Um, and so it's made with that plus some, some other things. Sorry, my phone's being kind of funky today. So um, there's that. I put three capfuls in there and I used my handy dandy funnel. I actually bought a brand new funnel today. Now I can use it for these videos. So I'm super excited. So then all I'm gonna do is I'm fill the rest of the water. So, so that's super simple, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go over to my sink, fill it up with water, you know, about all the way up to where it starts getting skinnier. And that is how, what I use when I use this to clean counters. I use this to clean almost every surface of my home. But, you know, the bathroom is a little dirtier than most rooms, right? So I like to amp it up for the bathroom. And here's how I do that. So I'm going to use this nice glass bottle because we're going to put some essential oils in this, okay? Um, and I've got my glass bottle right here. I got it off Amazon. And I think it's awesome because it came with these labels. And so then I got a chalk marker. So then all I'm going to do is just like label it when I'm done so I don't forget what it's for. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I have my glass bottle, and I have my funnel, okay? So we're going to do the same thing that we did for the regular cleaner. We're going to use this Thieves Household Cleaner. Now, I did get this from Young Living, because Young Living are the people who make the Thieves oil, and they also make this. So I get this from Young Living. I think it's, it's you know, pretty cheap for a bottle, and it lasts a long time because you, um, you know, you only use, like, a few capfuls at a time. Like this one of these lasts me like a year. It's crazy. I think I paid like $23 for this bottle. I could be wrong. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna put this is a 16 ounce, okay? This is a 16 ounce glass bottle. 
So if I'm doing one capful for every eight ounces, I'm gonna do two capfuls in this. Okay, so two capfuls of the concentrate. And by the way, this smells really good. I don't know if you've ever smelled the Thieves, Thieves oil, but the Thieves cleaner smells almost exactly like it. It smells like cinnamon. Like, I don't know about you, but like when I'm used to cleaning, like I smell like a Windex smell or like a pine saw smell. And this is like so nice to clean with because you smell like cinnamon and sweetness and it's, it's lovely. And I don't get like a headache after like I was used to when I used to clean stuff, you know? So I like it. So then, kind of to up the ante, instead of filling the rest with water, I'm going to fill it with white vinegar. And again, I apologize for my camera. It keeps getting dark on me. And then I can't see. I can't see what's happening. I don't like that. So I'm I'm going to use, I bought like a, a liquid measuring cup. So again, this is 16 ounces. I don't want to do the whole 16. I'll do like, do a cup and a half of vinegar. I don't want it too full on me. I don't want to go crazy. All right. So I did about a cup and a half of white vinegar in my liquid measuring cup, pouring it in the funnel into my cleaning bottle. And if you want, you want to go slow, otherwise it will spill over on the sides. So just pour really slow. So we've got that, okay, that's the perfect amount. That's about exactly what I wanted. So that's awesome. I'm just gonna tap this again. And then, I'm going to add in tea tree oil. Now, the things that live in bathrooms hate tea tree oil. They see tea tree oil and they're like, ah, oh my gosh, and they like run away. Okay, so tea tree oil is really, really, really good for the bathroom. Okay, and it's going to, again, up the ante because you want to make it a little bit more powerful, right? So I'm going to put, I don't need the funnel to add my oils. So I'm going to put like 20 drops in here. I want this thing to be super heavy duty. So I'm gonna count them at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I got like 21 in there on accident, but that's okay, I'm not gonna complain. So that is done, that's the first cleaner. And all I'm gonna do is shake it up to mix it, okay? So that is done. As you can see, like how fast did that take? I just made two cleaners in like, like five minutes. That's crazy. And I used to think these DIY stuff took such a long time to do and it used to be so overwhelming, but they don't really take that long. So it's five minutes. I got my regular cleaner made and I have a bathroom cleaner. Now you don't really have to use the Thieves Cleaner concentrate in here if you have the tea tree oil because the tea tree oil does a lot on its own, I promise you. So again, that was the Thieves Cleaner Concentrate that I used, that I got from Young Living, and then white vinegar and tea tree oil. And the combination of those should be just fine for the bathroom. Okay, and this cleaner that I just made, the one in the brown, the brown glass bottle, now you can use it to um, clean like the outside of your toilet bowl. Tammy says, hey lady, hey girl. You can use it to clean the outside and clean the inside. And then here's what I do. The first, very first thing I do is I clean the inside of my toilet bowl. So I'd spray the inside of my toilet bowl with this. Um, and, then, and then I let it sit. And while I'm letting it sit, I put half a cup of baking soda. I got baking soda in here. I would put about half a cup in there, let it sit, use this to clean like the counters in my bathrooms, clean the mirrors, and by the time that's done, like after about 10 minutes, after all your counters and your mirrors are all clean, then I take my brush, and then I clean the outside of my toilet with this same cleaner, and then I take my brush and I scrub the inside of the toilet with, um, with this baking soda, and the cleaner that I sprayed. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like this whole process. Okay, so then what do you do after you spray this and the baking soda, let it sit while you clean everything else? Let's say you've been doing that for a few weeks and you get rain. What do you do about the rain? Okay, so here's what to do about the dreaded rain. I hate the rain. So what you do is take a bowl Okay, or you can take a squirt bottle, but I'm gonna use a bowl because I'm putting essential oils in here. And, fix my phone again. 
<laughs> and and we're gonna use three quarters of a cup of borax okay ah. hold on let me open my borax all right you know what i'm gonna use scissors to open my borax because that's a good thing oh my gosh it says like to press here but it's like like the dotted line it's so like tough okay but that's good that means it's gonna stay closed so i'm gonna add like i said three quarters of a cup of borax okay so i have my measuring cups here and i'm just gonna pour it in now they do make you know how i always say you can't put essential oils in glass because it'll eat the glass and all that stuff um on amazon i actually did find these squirt bottles they're made of like a really high grade plastic that um i think my all right so hi sorry about that i don't know why my video cut out um, so I'm here pouring my borax, about three quarters of a cup of borax in here. Now, some people, there is some controversy about borax on how like natural it is. Okay. So let me tell you about borax. Okay. You know, in like the chemical free world, I guess you could say like people are afraid of boric acid. Okay. Boric acid is supposed to be supposed to like not great for the human body. All right. But what borax is doesn't have anything to do with boric acid. All it is, and it even says on the box, the scientific name for borax is sodium tetraborate. And it says a natural mineral. And sodium tetraborate is about as toxic as table salt, okay? Which is really not toxic at all. So this is totally safe to use, all right? So I did about three quarters of a cup of borax. And then I'm gonna do half a cup of white vinegar again and we're gonna make like a paste okay so that's three quarters of a cup of borax half a cup I'm using my liquid measuring cup I just got it today super fancy uh, white vinegar we're gonna make a beautiful paste and it doesn't foam up just so you know like you know how like vinegar and baking soda foams up this doesn't foam up so that's a good thing and then to make it extra to make it you know really clean the ring and make it clean clean I'm gonna do a cap full of my thieves concentrate I add that to anything I clean with I'm gonna add lemon oil because lemon essential oil oh my gosh it's the most amazing booby gone so when I lived in my apartment all by myself I um Oh, I'm going to use this lemon because this lemon's empty. Oh, I had it. Okay. This is the lemon I'm going to use. But um, when I went to my apartment, I was making oatmeal one morning. I turned off the stove. It was black. It's like I hadn't made anything. And my roommate at the time was making her lunch. And she put the plastic bag on the burner that I just used. But how is she supposed to know, right? Because it was black. You would never know. And it melted on there. And a few days later, we're like, oh, my gosh. Like, how do we get this off? It's literally like burnt on for a burner. And I remembered like, oh, lemon oil is good at getting like sticky stuff and like it's good at loosening stuff like that. So I was like, oh, let's try it. So we just sprinkled some lemon oil on there and I used like one of those like metal sponges that came off in like five minutes. So anything sticky or goopy or crusty, lemon essential oil, I'm telling you, it's amazing. So I put like five drops of lemon in there and I'm also going to add lemongrass just to up the ante. Okay. I'm going to add like five drops. Actually, I'm going to add five more drops of lemon. I want ten drops of lemon because I want mine to like, I want that gunk on there to be gone. We're going to show it who's boss. Give it no mercy. <laughs> okay. So then, that's what I'm going to do. Stir it up. And then I think I need a little more borax. You can play with it. All right, so you wanna make it into like a paste. And then what I would do is I would take my gloves, like yellow gloves, and I'd put it on the rim of my um, like toilet where I have the ring, and I'd let it sit for a few hours. So like for example, in a few minutes, um, I'm gonna use this on my upstairs bathroom, and then you wanna let it sit for like a few hours, or overnight, you know, make sure no one uses the bathroom. Be like, hey, I'm cleaning this bathroom tonight. You can use a different one. 
And then in the morning, you take your brush and you scrub it off and the ring is gone, okay? And you didn't use a single toxic chemical. How awesome is that, right? Okay, so that, we actually made three cleaning items in a span of 15 minutes. That's pretty good, don't you think? Okay, well I hope you learned a lot and what I've decided to do um, is I know like, you know, you watch these and you get all these ideas, but it's kind of hard to implement them if they're not written down, right? So what I've started to do is I've started to compile a list and write, you know, writing out the ones that I've done, okay? And I've decided that if you become a part of my VIP list, I'll leave a link below so you can join. If you become a VIP, then you will get today's recipes all three recipes actually and you will get every single one in the future okay so for as long as you are VIP how awesome is that um, and I'm working on writing out the ones that I previously done so eventually you'll get those two okay so again become a VIP you're gonna get the recipes um, for all these DIYs. So I'm really excited to give that to you and give you the VIP treatment. Again, I'll leave a link below so you can do that. Thank you so much for watching. It's been so much fun having all of you on. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, okay, I'll see you next DIY Wednesday. Always feel free to give suggestions for what you want to say. No, we've had some suggestions for like laundry soap or dish soap. I think those are awesome ideas. So just keep them coming. Um, yeah, all right. See you next time. Bye.